Anyone with more than a cursory knowledge of Cold War history and American foreign policy, in general, should know to take announcements from the U. S. government with a heaping spoonful of salt, especially when it comes to South American countries, where we are actively pursuing regime change. The Trump administration found itself in a very uncomfortable position on Sunday when the New York Times reported that the highly publicized burning of a humanitarian aid convoy in Venezuela was not perpetrated by the government of Nicolas Maduro but was in fact committed by the U.S.-backed opposition. Newly released footage shows that the burning of the aid trucks on February 23 occurred because an anti-government protester, in the words of the Times, accidentally threw a lit Molotov cocktail onto the truck. When the story first broke, Vice President Mike Pence gleefully accused the tyrant of Caracas of committing heinous acts in a series of tweets and public statements and of shameless attempt to gin up outrage against one of the few nations that refuses to bow to American hegemony. He was joined by National Security Advisor John Bolton, a host of State Department spokespeople, and Muling Lickspittlesen. Marco Rubio, our Florida, as they eagerly tried to spin the incident to justify the United States' immoral and illegal efforts to replace the elected president of Venezuela with an illegitimate puppet leader. There has been no word on whether the Trump administration will retract any of its false accusations against the Venezuelan government or roll back the fresh round of sanctions that they are planning to level against a nation already crippled by the punishing effects of America's deliberate efforts to exacerbate the economic crisis, the oil sanctions could shrink the economy by 26 percent by the end of the year and weaponize public suffering for their own selfish agenda. It is extremely on brand for the Trump administration to use a flagrant lie in order to heap pain and suffering on people of color, but this one is particularly egregious and is yet another example of how we can't trust the word of this administration on anything, especially when it comes to their ham-fisted attempt to create another major international crisis in our own backyard.